House of the Living Dead. What's all that racket? It sounds like something's coming up through the floor or the walls. Oh dear God! Decaying bodies, rot blackened teeth, grave breath. Yellow and black pus filled corpses snatch at you with death gaunt arms. They're everywhere. They're going to feast on your flesh, ripping off chunks of it with their blackened teeth. But you won't die. Eternally hungry, your mutilated corpse will join the undead as another mindless zombie. You must stop them somehow. What you know about the bad guys? They are slow, but tough zombies. They want to kill you all. An ancient zombie lord controls them. You win when? You either destroy the zombie lord or all the zombies. Special attack rules. If you're killed, you become a zombie on your next turn. The traitor will tell you your new traits. Read this haunt in the traitor's tome. You can destroy a zombie by defeating it in combat with any weapon that requires a might attack. Dynamite can also kill zombies. Otherwise, you stun a zombie when you defeat it. If you take damage from a zombie, it doesn't matter whether you have one of these weapons or not. Whenever you have the opportunity to draw an item card, you can draw three item cards, choose one, and put the others at the bottom of the stack. If you are carrying the holy symbol, all zombies that make might attacks against you roll two fewer dice. The holy symbol doesn't affect the zombie lord. You can damage the zombie lord only if you are carrying the medallion. The medallion holder does not need to use a weapon to damage the zombie lord, but any weapon he or she wields can damage it normally. The traitor keeps track of the damage done to the zombie lord and announces when it has been destroyed. The attacks of heroes who are not carrying the medallion have no effect on the zombie lord. They don't even stun it. 